Selex is extremely configurable. The way that I have it set up is not necessarily the way that other customers may have it set up. Um, there's many different options to build out the schedules and I'll show you different viewing options for it. But the way that I have it set up today is I have my three customers listed here. Remember, we're a security company. These are the customers that we're going to be performing our uh, security for. Walmart, the university, and Best Buy. Within each customer, I have the different sites listed that we're going to actually be performing work for those customers. So I have the three Walmart locations here, Turkey Lake, Conroy, and Taunton. And if I scroll down, I just have the one Best Buy location at North York. Within the different sites, we have scheduled times of shifts. So if you see here at the Walmart Turkey Lake, we have an eight to four. That's an eight hour shift. And then we have the service that's being provided on that shift. In this case, it's that of an armed guard. We go across and we have the days of the week and the employees who are working the shifts along with different color coding uh, to mean different things. For example, these yellow shifts indicate that the shifts are open. They still have to be filled. And the red one here indicates that this employee has actually gone into overtime. And that's something that we also um, do for our customers is we can cut down on things like unbillable overtime. The system will always catch it and it'll even offer you alternatives uh, regarding who else could work that shift, who is available, who is qualified, but will not incur the overtime. Now, maybe you don't want to look at the schedule based on your customers. That's fine. There's literally hundreds of different ways to configure this, either by employee, by time, by service, by site. Uh, for example, here is a view by employee. So across the top here in yellow are all of our open shifts that we still have to fill. But as I scroll down, I see each individual employee starting with their employee ID and then the employee name. And then I get a nice breakdown of exactly how much each employee is working within this given time frame. In this case, it's a week. So if we look at Julia Beattie here, employee number 19, we see she's been assigned 48 hours. She has not worked any of those hours yet. Eight of those hours are in overtime, which are highlighted here in red, and she has no approved time off. If she did, that would be blocked off as well. So it gives you a nice little snapshot of exactly how much each employee is working within the given time frame. And of course, if you don't want to look at a weekly time frame, we can go up to the calendar here, look at a daily view, a monthly view, or even a custom view. So I'll go back to the original view that I started with, but that just kind of goes to show the different ways that we can configure the platform. And obviously that's part of the implementation process as well. We work very closely with our customers um, to configure the platform in a way that they're comfortable with. Oftentimes we'll ask to see copies of their past uh, schedules and we'll try to replicate that in Selex so we give them something familiar to them uh, when they're ready to go live. Now in terms of interacting with the platform, it's very straightforward. We can drag and select multiple shifts if we want to make bulk edits. If I want to move someone from Tuesday over to Monday, it's as easy as picking him up and dropping him over on the day I want him to work. If I hit save, he'll be notified and he can go through that confirmation process, or I can just simply undo those changes. Now I mentioned when employees are given shifts, they're immediately alerted to those shifts and we can have them confirm. If they do confirm on the app that they can work those shifts, we get one of these blue little check marks beside their name that you can see over here for the employee working on Saturday. So you can visually see who has and has not confirmed their shifts. Now any real change that we're making to the schedule is just gonna be done through these two buttons in the top right. I tell my customers, if you can figure out how to use these two buttons, you can do about 90% of the things on the scheduling platform. Shift tools is where we're adding shifts, deleting shifts, updating shifts, or even creating templates that we can use in the future and copy and paste them or have them run on so you don't have to build each individual shift one at a time. And then scheduling tools are all the things that cut down on the amount of admin work that our customers have to do. And we tell our customers they're going to be able to save 90% or more of their time that they were previously scheduling if they weren't using a platform such as ours. Now we have a bunch of tools in here to make scheduling easier. So we have the autofill where the computer is going to be filling shifts for our customers based on rules that we give it. We have artificial intelligence tools such as suggest an employee or verify an existing schedule to see if there's a more optimal fit out there for the shifts that you already filled. And the more you schedule, the better the machine learning gets and it'll make better and better recommendations using these AI tools. We can send mass notifications out to employees and have those notifications forwarded to their cell phones. We can find replacements for individual employees who might have called off sick last minute or not have shown up. And then we have a few other tools like alerts, shift bidding and exporting. So we can always export this either to a PDF or a spreadsheet if needed. 
And I'll show you one of those tools uh, right now. So I have a bunch of open shifts down here for the University of Toronto and for Best Buy. These shifts are at different sites. One's at Robson Hall, one's at North York, and they're for different jobs. One is for bike patrol and one is for armed guard. I wanna fill all these shifts. I wanna fill them quickly, compliantly, with employees who are available, who are qualified to work these positions. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all my open shifts here. I'll go back up to my tools that I mentioned before, and I'll have the computer fill this for us. So I'll have the autofill go to work. Now it's not just gonna find anyone who's available and put them into these uh, open slots. I'm gonna give it some parameters to work with while it's going through the autofill process. So we have a very complex rules engine at Solaix, and we have a whole bunch of different rules around things such as overtime and qualifications and seniority, and you can even go and build out your own rules. I've actually made three rules here and I've stacked them on top of each other and I could go in and add additional rules if I'd like. But the rules that I have here for this demonstration are find me someone available who will not incur overtime. Find me someone who's qualified to work these positions. So if you're working armed guard at the North York Best Buy from one to nine, you better have the armed guard qualification on your profile. This is how we ensure that the correct people are put um, working the correct shifts. Also, I'm saying I need someone with prior experience. So if you're going to be working that armed guard shift from one to nine at the Best Buy, you have to have worked it in the past. You need to know how to get to on site. You need to know the patrol you're doing, the general manager at the store that you're going to be meeting. You need to have worked there before. Now I could add additional rules, but I'll stick with these three and I'll hit autofill. What I tell my customers is what you'll find is as you build these rules out in a way that works for your business, and as you have your employees properly qualified to work different positions within your company, all you have to really do is create those open shifts and the computer will do the rest. And with 100% accuracy, it will fill these shifts based on the parameters you give it. So you'll see that in a matter of seconds here, I filled 15 shifts. It could have easily be 150 or 1500 or 15,000 uh, as a lot of our customers do. And I'll go ahead here and hit accept. All these employees meet the criteria that I gave the system. They're all gonna now receive the notifications and the automation process begins. They receive the notifications on their app, through text, through email. They confirm the shifts. They then get that blue check mark beside them so I can visually see who has and has not confirmed. They'll then get in their car, go onto the site, clock in within the geofence location so we have the accurate time attendance data as well. So that's just one of many of the tools that our customers use to schedule hundreds or thousands of shifts very, very quickly, accurately, and compliantly.